Hello everyone, I am Raza Kiani. You are watching revision series of high school physics. In today's lesson, I'm going to talk about gravity and how does it act on different objects. Have you ever wondered why do the object fall to the ground? Why do the heavy object have more force of gravity? How gravity affects age and time? What are the Einstein completely new thought about gravity? Before answering to all these questions, I will take you to the brief history of gravity. Watch the video till end to know Einstein's new thoughts about gravity. In the absence of gravity, objects keep floating in the space. Astronauts feel weightlessness in the space. Human beings only recently realized what gravity is all about. Greek philosophers thought that the planets and stars were the part of the God's region and followed a natural motion. They consider Earth as a natural place. They thought falling of object on Earth is natural. They did not realize that the force of gravity is involved. The Greeks' idea of gravity followed by the people until 6th century. In the 4th century BC, Aristotle, an ancient Greek philosopher, considered Earth as a center of the universe. Aristotle thought that sun, stars, and other planets orbit around the Earth. That idea, without any technology, was very fascinating at that time. This type of the model is known as geocentric model of the universe. Brahmagupta was an Indian mathematician and astronomer born in 6th century. Brahma was the first mathematician who gave the rules to compute with zero. He recognized gravity as a force of attraction in 6th century. That was the big idea at that time. Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwazmi was a mathematician and astronomer born in Khwazm in 8th century. He was the first mathematician who introduced the Hindu Arabic numerals. Al-Khwazmi moved one step ahead from Brahmagupta and hypothesized remarkable statement that there is a force of attraction between heavenly bodies. Ibn al-Haytham was born in Basra in 10th century. He was an important academic thinker who contributes to the understanding of the vision, optics, and lighting presented. In the 10th century, he discussed the theory between masses, and it seems that he was aware of the magnitude of acceleration due to gravity. Today, many scientists consider him as an important figure in the history of ideology and the father of modern ideas. Abdurrahman al-Khazini was well known for scientific work in the fields of astronomy, mechanics, scientific, and astronomical instruments. He wrote many books. His books are preserved in British Library and in Vatican Library in Europe. Al-Khazini completed a certain number of astronomical observations. However, they seem to be limited in number. In his book, he describes several new types of astronomical instruments and observational techniques. In 1121, he distinguished the difference between force, mass, and weight and suggested that gravity varies with distance from the center of the earth. The Book of Balance of Wisdom is perhaps the most essential scientific work on mechanics and hydrostatics, especially the study of centers of gravity known as Al-Khazini concept of gravity. Copernican heliocentric model is the astronomical model formulated by Nicholas Copernicus in 1543. He considered sun as a center of universe rather than earth. This model positioned the sun near the center of the universe, motionless with earth and the other planets orbiting around the circular path with constant speed. We have two models over here. The first is Aristotle's geocentric model and the second one is a Copernicus heliocentric model. So Aristotle considered Earth as a center 
of the universe, whereas Copernicus considered the sun as a center of the universe. The concept of gravity was there before Galileo, but there were some confusions and misperceptions. Galileo Galilei is known as the father of modern science and did major contribution to the field of physics, cosmology, astronomy, mathematics, and philosophy. Galileo's experimental instrument and apparatus used for investigation of gravity is shown to the left, to this side here. According to his experiment, he tried to roll the ball in every single second. So in one second, what he has noticed, the distance traveled was one meter. And in the next second, distance moved was four meters. In the next second, the distance traveled was nine meters. And in the fourth second, the distance traveled was 16 meters. What he has done basically, he squared the time. So one square, if we do the square of one, that's going to one and the square of the two is going to be four, and the square of three is nine here down, and the square of four is 16. So Galileo recognized from the above table, the distance goes as a square of time. So that's the reason one square is one, and two square is four, three square is nine, and four square is 16. This is the reason the unit of the acceleration is meters per second squared. Galileo's laws of motion made from his measurement that all bodies accelerate at the same rate on the same planet, regardless of their mass or size. This idea paved the way for the organization of classical mechanics by Sir Isaac Newton. According to old idea, especially the Greek and after, they thought that the heavy object, it accelerates faster than the light object downwards. But Galileo changed all that. He said the object default to the ground with the same acceleration, whether they are light in weight or they are heavy. Beginning of the 15th century, Galileo and Ticobra believed in gravity and discovered that the earth and other planets revolve around the sun. Here are the model made by Tycho Brahe, basically. The first model and the second model. Kepler showed that the planets moved in an elliptical orbit, not in, in a circle. That was a new idea at that time. The planets close to the sun move faster and those are away move slower. Sir Isaac Newton was an English mathematician and physicist. Newton's discovered gravity when he saw a falling apple while thinking about the forces of gravity. Whatever really happened, Newton realized that some force must be acting on falling objects like apple because otherwise they would not start moving from rest position. Newton also realized that the moon would fly off away from the earth in a straight line by making a tangent to its orbit if some force was not causing it to attract towards the center. The moon is only a satellite circling around the earth under the attraction of gravity. Newton called this force gravity and determined that gravitational forces exist between all objects. He gave a famous law of gravitation. According to his law, the gravity is acting straight down from all above these discussions, the work of Galileo, Tycho Brahe, Kepler, and Newton's proved that the Earth was not the center of the solar system. The Earth and all other planets orbit around the center, which is Sun. Albert Einstein established a complete new thought about gravity. According to Einstein, gravity acts from twisting of space and time. Einstein's new theory of gravity explains a number of miracles that would deny Newton's theory of gravity. 
according to Albert Einstein, a clock elevated above the earth speeds up relative to a clock is kept on the surface of the earth. So here, if we see that one, in the diagram, if the light is traveling away from any object, it goes straight. But if the ray of the light is coming straight and passing through a heavy planet, so it bent towards it. And the other difference we can see for the time, this is a clock on the earth that shows this much time over here right now. And this is the time that we can read from the clock in the satellite and that moves faster. That means the time moves faster in the space. Time runs slower where gravity is strongest, but it runs faster where gravity is weaker. How gravity affects age on Jupiter? Time runs slower on Jupiter as compared to Earth. So if the time is slower, you may have a longer life at Jupiter. Here, if we look at this diagram, look, the timer, the time in the space is faster and the time here is slower on the Earth. Your height will be shorter at Jupiter and you will look bulky due to more weight. Gravity has a stronger force on things with greater mass. Astronauts in the absence of gravity during space mission experience an increase in height. If you see these two diagrams, what's happening on Earth to the height and what's happening to the uh, what's happening to the height in the space. If you see, you can see the difference between two height on Earth and in space. So the height is more in the space. Newtonian theory of gravity is entirely different than the Einstein's theory of relativity. The orbit of Mercury as predicted by Newton's theory of gravity and Einstein's general theory of relativity can be seen in the opposite animation. If you see the difference here in, in this one, this is the Newtonian gravity. And this one is the Einstein's general theory of relativity. So here's the difference between these two theory. From all that above discussion, we can conclude that the Einstein theory of general relativity is completely different than Newtonian gravity. Thank you for watching. See you next time with the new topic.